no-code tools are the future. And let me tell you why. According to the World Bank, the digital economy is currently 15% of the global GDP. And it's also growing two and a half times faster than the physical economy itself. Everything we interact online on a day-to-day -day basis is powered by code. And for the longest time ever, only 1-3% to of world's population were able to access that. But that has changed. By leveraging no-code tools and AI, you're gonna be able to tap into this huge economy. And by doing so, you're gonna be able to test your ideas, scale your business, and launch the next industry-changing product. In this video, I'll share the four tools that helped our studio grow to seven digits and how you can do the same in 2024. Let's dive in. Webflow. The first part of the digital economy is what we see online, and those are the pretty pixels. For me, personally, before discovering Webflow, even changing a simple color button with a CSS seemed like I'm launching a SpaceX rocket. In order to learn how the web works, I've tried every single tool, WordPress, Wix, Squarespace, you name it. And all of them helped me to develop a simple website, but none of them actually gave me development superpowers and taught me how the web actually works. The platform will allow you to learn front-end development without writing a single line of code. I mean, some people even call it the Photoshop of front-end development. And by doing so, you're going to be able to open up career and business opportunities that were usually available for just the top 10% of developers and business owners. As we run a Webflow Enterprise Studio, we do see a huge shift of clients migrating to Webflow or using Webflow for their SaaS or for their automation in order to help their business grow better. And that's why I believe you should learn Webflow in 2024. Whether you're a designer, marketer, or a business owner, it's gonna be a great tool to have in your toolset. Sano. After we're done with the pretty pixels, we need to cover the back end of the website and where the data is gonna be stored. A dream of mine was to become a full stack developer. By being a full stack developer, I would be able to build many different things for clients and also launch my own personal ideas without external funding. The sad truth was I had no idea where to start. Whenever I wanted to do anything on the back end, it was really abstract. And on top of that, I've just learned Webflow and I've just started running an enterprise studio, so I had a lot of things on my plate. But to my luck, together with our team, we were able to identify Xano as a really reliable tool to help us build databases, APIs, and to have something which is really secure for our clients. And what does this actually mean? Well, for us, or if you're a freelancer or a business owner, it allowed us to tap into completely new markets and to slowly go towards becoming a full service studio. Of course, the world will still need a lot of backend developers who are going to be building the tools that we're currently using. I do believe by leveraging Sano, you're going to be able to understand APIs, databases, and create secure and scalable systems that are going to be powering your digital products. Wiz. Right now that we have the front end and we do also have the back end, how are we going to connect those two together? This was always a missing piece for me when I just started getting into digital world. The usual development flow would be for you to use React.js or similar development frameworks. This is just part of the population who knows how to write code in those good code languages. And as a result, writing applications and digital products can become really expensive really quick. If we look at the industrial revolution, for an example, the idea was always that we speed up the process as much as possible and that we free up people from working on maybe some of the repetitive tasks. And that's where I think Wiz comes really in handy. By leveraging the tool, you're gonna be able to connect the backend to the frontend, and in this case, Webflow to Xano, and you're also gonna be able to start creating logic the same way you would be creating logic if you were writing React or any other custom language. And this is not just something that we're writing on top of our head. We've built our whole studio on top of these three tools. We've developed a completely custom client experience platform, which currently our core agency is run on and without it we probably wouldn't be here because we use these three tools we were able to systemize our processes we were able to create better client experience and in general create a productized service which would require millions in funding beforehand by just leveraging the free time of our team zapier or make from my experience around 90 percent of businesses actually need some sort of automation 
most of the clients we work at our studio are spending a lot of hours on repetitive tasks, which can be automated with one of these two platforms. So by learning Zapier or Make, you're gonna be able to save, let's say at least 10% of your whole team's time by automating some of the processes. And where we see the most amount of potential is in the boring stuff, finance automation, so that you can move your finance person from data entry to actually analyzing the data, support tickets, maybe leveraging platforms like ChatGPT to send out automatically some more personalized responses to people who are reaching out for support in sales to make sure that you can automate your leads and create better reports and that you can basically automate the whole outbound process when you do reach out to your leads and the list goes on and on and on but the important thing is like even if you do think that you know Zapier I strongly suggest to spend a lot more time into the tool and to try to figure out what are all of the places where you're spending your time on a day-to-day -day basis so that you can improve those processes and that you have everything happening automatically. Even if you have a simple marketing website, having a local tool set in your disposal can help you automate your business, create new solutions, and in the end, save at least 10% of your time on doing those repetitive tasks. And these are some of the most important tools that we use at Flow Ninja to help power the next generation of businesses. But I'm sure that we've missed some of them, so you can write the tools down below in the comment section that you're going to be using in 2024.